Hello, my name is Evan Lewis, and welcome back to Cincinnati Museum Center's Story Tree Time. Are you a fan of flowers? How about honey? Fruits? Dancing as a means of giving directions? A goo-based economy? Then you're in luck. This week, our book is about bees. More specifically, one type of bee. The honeybee. That's why it's called The Honeybee. Let's read it. The Honeybee by Kirsten Hall and Isabel Arsenault. A field, a tree, climate and sea. For miles all around you grow wild and free flowers. But then, shh, what's that? Do you hear it? You're near it. It's closer, it's coming, it's buzzing, it's humming. A bee. Four tiny wings, they buzz and they sing. They're clapping and flapping, the busy bees lapping. Lap, 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 tap, tap, tap. Searching, perching. This one. This is the flower the bee has chosen. This is the flower the pollen grows in. This is the flower, its color so bright. Its sweet blooming scent calls the bee from its flight. Such a long trip, it's time for a sip. Sugary, watery, nectar. There now, it drills now, the bee sips and spills now. There now, it swills now, it sits oh so still now. There now, it fills now, it's back to the hill now. More pollen, more nectar, it's mealtime, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, a crowd, swarming and teeming and loud, flapping, flying, landing, prying. All of this nectar, it's ours, it's ours. They work on the flowers for hours and hours until... Little bees with heavy sacks, lifting, shifting, turning back. Zoom they race, zoom they chase, zoom they zoom and pick up the pace, and then zoom, they see it up ahead. Our hive, our hive, our hiding place. Watch them arrive, watch how their hive buzzes alive, buzz. Where are the flowers you found today? Dance for us, foragers, show us the way. A dance begins, waggle, wiggle, the dance is lovely, tremble, jiggle, the dance goes straight now, in a line, a figure eight is the final sign. Oh, now we know. We know where to go. Thanks for the secrets, and thanks for the show. New foragers leave on a searching mission, while house bees march forward with hungry ambition. Chew, chew. That's what we do. We suck out the nectar, we suck it straight through. Chew, chew. We're changing its makeup. We're giving the nectar a chemical shakeup. Chew, chew. We make it like glue. Make it thick, make it stick, make it slick, make it new. Chew, 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 chew. At last, we're finally through. But there's more to do at home like fill the honeycomb. They jam its cells with nectar plaster. They rev up their engines and beat their wings faster. Whoosh, they're strong despite their size. Swoosh, the nectar cools and dries. It's getting thicker now. Wings move quicker now. Fan, fast, pump, blast. We did it, we did it. It's honey at last. And now to keep it safe, tiny honey cells are capped. Liquid gold is sealed and trapped. And only when it's needed most, a hungry day, will these vaults be tapped. Outside the hive come shorter days, cooler winds and softer rays, fewer eggs to birth and raise. With the queen less busy, the hives less buzzy, and bees amass, all soft and fuzzy. Come now rest, join our nest, huddle and cuddle, the winter's our test. Pop, a bud, drip, some mud. Creatures stir in the melting snow, and inside the hive, the bees, they know. Hum, it's springtime. Hum, life anew. One little bee in a tree knows what to do. Watch it zoom. A field, a tree, climate, and sea. From a faraway hive flew this hard-working, honey-sweet bee. The end. Wasn't that fun? Bees are a primary source of pollination and they've not been doing so hot lately. So if you see a bee, make sure you offer your full support, even emotional support. Couldn't hurt. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, tune in every Wednesday on the Cincinnati Museum Center Facebook and Instagram pages, and there should be another one right there waiting for you. Until next week, I'll see you later.